Hi, good morning everyone, it's Nicole Slater and just got here, sorry about that glare, wow, that's bright. Um, just got here at the studio, it's day five and I'm getting ready for my 30 paintings in 30 days. So I'm glad you're here and I appreciate you and um, I will keep you um, updated on my journey today. Thanks again and for being I here. I just Bye. finished my day five at 30 paintings and I'm looking forward to showing you how it turned out. Um, and I will be posting some more of what I went through doing the challenge and and uh, some feedback and some uh, takeaways, I call them. So what I learned from doing. I'm now on the stage where I've laid out the, the, the feeling that I want in the painting. And what I like about it is that um, it's the overall mood I was wanting. So a lot of times I'll just sketch out kind of the layout or the, the colors so that I kind of have a feeling or a personality right from the get-go. And then from that I kind of tweak and work it out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna tweak and work it out next. Okay, so here's the layout I was just showing you. And um, the way I, I, like I was saying, the way I tweak and work it out is I'll, a lot of times I'll use a uh, large brush and um, and I literally start kind of feathering, or I don't want to use feathering as the word, but more of manipulating the colors and merging them together. So that's what I'm doing here. Unfortunately, I don't have a tripod, but um, I'm gonna get one next so that I can demonstrate. But right now I'm just kind of softly blending and working the colors together so that they harmonize and um, flow nicely. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next and stay tuned, I hope you like it. Okay, so I have this top part done. Um, I mean, not completely done, but at least I, I have kind of the feeling in the mood. So I've been working and playing around with that and it's getting there, so um, it, the saga continues. So I'm pretty happy with the results. Um, I do need some um, light brush work I'm gonna do on top to tone down the texture, but overall I'm, I'm happy with the mood. I think it's pretty cool. Okay, thanks again for being here. I'll post the uh, pictures of the final piece on my blog and on my website. Stay tuned. So, I even have pinned all my chin still. Oh my goodness, I am a mess. Okay, so I'm done with number five. I'm excited. Um, I uh, enjoyed working on this one. It's it's what I, it's kind of what I expected to do. The only difference is, is that it didn't quite get, I wanted it to be a little more, almost more ominous, but it started getting too dark, so I brightened it up, and now now it's fun. Now now I it's still moody, but it has some uh, really nice warm elements in it, and I really like it. So anyway, happy with the results. My takeaway, um, my takeaway this time was um, when I did these fields over here. Sorry about the glare, everyone, but the when I did these fields. Um, I found that it was best if I kind of went in and scratched in lines first and then um, and then went back in and added the lightness and the color of the wheat back in. So that was the takeaway there. Um, also the just like I said, the fact that I couldn't get as dark as I wanted to. I wanted it to feel a little more moody, but now, now it actually is moody, but it's bright still, so that's good. I'm happy with that. Um, what else did I learn? Not to give up, you know, just keep going. So plugging along and, and uh, just feeling confident. Um, try to get confident and, and make every brush stroke count. So anyway, hope you love it. And it's on my blog. So we will talk soon. Thanks for being here. Bye.